difficult day, obviously. Difficult week. Saying goodbye to everybody. Talking uh, a little bit yeah. about the emotions in there right now. For sure. Um, this is always the hardest part of the season, you know. When you're finishing early, so a week or two left in the season, week left in the season, and you don't have anything to play for. So, uh, I mean, it is somber, but, you know, uh, there's always positive things to look towards, and, you know, that's just how you got to look at things. Do you look back at this year and kind of what it could have, should have kind of thing when you, you know, you think about game one and one yard, uh, one point in Saskatchewan, a couple of big leads that you guys let slip away. It, it just seems you played better than your record shows and you probably could have been in, in the race a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, that's one of the positive things that, you know, you kind of try to take out of the season. So, um, like I was saying, there are a lot of positives that you can take from the season and a lot of negatives that you can just take and learn and build from. So, uh, unfortunately, things didn't go our way this year, and uh, hopefully things are continuing to go on the upward trend. Can you talk about uh, the fans, uh, the impact that they had, especially getting that home win finally, and, and what you might say to them now? How do you feel about them? <laughs> uh, just I would say thank you to the fans who, you know, actually – uh, stuck through the hard times and didn't jump ship. Um, you know, I understand that it gets tough watching us lose, but, you know, we're doing our best to put out, you know, a winning effort. So thank you to those who did uh, stick through with us through those times. I think it's 11 years now for you. Uh, do you want a 12th? Are you, do you want to come <laughs> back and play still? Uh, for sure. You know, I want to play football for as long as I can. Um, you know, whether that happens or not at my, at my age is, is, you know, up to God and, you know, the people who, other people who believe in me, like I believe in myself. So, uh, we'll see. <clears throat> when you see those games this year that have the lower crowds and really sparse, does that affect you and other players in any way? Um, I mean, honestly, I come from the States where football is really big, so I'm not going to say it affects me, but uh you know when there when there are people in the stands and you know the stadium is energized from everyone uh being in those seats you know it, it definitely boosts the morale of the team but you know it's up to us to win and you know give fans something to come out and see so uh you know we'll, we'll work work better you know going forward what do you think about the idea of bringing the fans down into like the lower level do you think that that would help the players or uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, like I said, like the fans being in the stands and everyone, you know, with their different emotions, it brings energy to the stadium. So, you know, uh, I guess bringing everyone closer together, closer to the field, you know, I think that would that would help. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much for everything. Appreciate it.